Over the next three videos, I will describe three different ways of calculating three by three determinants. And that's a very useful skill to have. After all, we live in a three dimensional space. So three by three determinants come up all the time. And being able to calculate them quickly will come in quite handy. Now the first approach we'll call Russian because that's the way they teach in Russia. And that's the first way that I learned as a student. The second way we'll call American because that's the way they teach in American high schools and sometimes in college. And that's the way that my students have taught me. And I have to admit right off the bat that it's actually my least favorite approach for reasons that I'll discuss when we're talking about this approach. And finally, the third approach that we'll call the Indian approach, I can only assume that that's the way they teach in India. Because whenever I introduce my students to the first two approaches, my students from India always come up to me and tell me there's another approach that they like even better. And I actually have to agree with them. After a little bit of practice and getting used to, the Indian approach ends up being the quickest, especially if there is one or two zeros in the matrix, and most reliable. Now I have to admit that the next three videos will probably be the least insightful videos I've ever recorded. That's because all they deal with is memorization. And that's okay, because we've already derived the formula for the three by three determinant. We understand it and we know where it comes from. So it's okay to devote a couple of videos simply to memorizing the formula and learning how to use it efficiently. And finally, one word of caution. All three approaches, but especially the first two, apply only to the three by three case. We don't need it for the two by two case, and four by four determinants and larger have 24 terms or more. So it's impossible to memorize the formula corresponding to those determinants. We will have to calculate those determinants, four by four and larger, by using completely different ideas that will come a little bit later. But for now, over the next three videos, we'll concentrate on the three by three determinants.